The Siri remote for Apple TV is something of a marvel as far as remotes go. It's the only remote for a streaming device with reliable voice recognition, it can control external devices, and more. However, there are a few problems that the Siri remote can encounter, such as when the volume buttons stop controlling my stereo receiver. If you're new to the Apple TV and the Siri remote, here's a quick tip that'll fix it every time the remote encounters an issue like this. One of the reasons I've historically avoided wireless peripheral devices is because they can't tell you what's wrong, and interacting with them is always through weird button combinations and things like that, and it just feels really weird. The Siri remote is really no different. To fix these issues, you need to reset the remote. So the button combination to restart the remote is uh, the home TV button and volume down. Hold those for about six seconds and then let them go. After that, give the remote about 30 to 60 seconds to do its thing. After the first few seconds, you should see a remote disconnected warning on your TV and it might not give you any indicator that anything happens after that. So wait about a minute and then press a button. It'll initialize and connect quickly, after which everything should work perfectly again. I love the fact that the remote for my Apple TV can adjust the volume on my stereo receiver and do extra things like that, even if it stops working periodically and I have to restart the remote. This probably happens to me every couple of weeks. If you're new to the Apple TV and this video helps you, please consider liking and subscribing and here's another video you might like.